Hey YouTube, Axel Fireflurry here, here to bring you another of my top six favorites. Now today we're going to be talking about dragon types. And before we get started, I would like to make two quick announcements. Uh, let's start with the fun one first. That is my actual uh, Pokemon Y friend code. So if you want to add me for either battles, trades, or just for my Safari, I have a Psychic Safari. Uh, I'm not entirely sure who's in it, but I mean, I'm always excited to make new friends or whatever. And the other announcement is I will be going in for surgery on Monday, Monday morning, for a little lump that they had found in my throat. Uh, we're going to have it removed, and I will not be able to talk for at least a week, so I may not be able to upload uh, next time, I mean this time next week or any time next week, uh, because I will not be able to talk. Uh, I will admit I am a little bit scared because they're like because there is a chance I I will become a Mew, but they're all no, it's okay. This we we've done this before a thousand times. You're gonna be perfectly fine. But I mean, I just want to give you that heads up. So in case you're wondering why I'm not uploading next week or in the next couple of weeks, uh, actually, um, I may put on a little side project that may not be Pokemon related. Uh, without even any real talking, I might make some uh, anime music videos just to keep uploading some form of content for you guys. And just, just to show that I'm not a one-trick pony, so if you want, keep an eye out for that. But, okay, like I said, we're just going to be talking about dragon types today. Uh, not every dragon type you see on my trainer card there is going to be who I'm going to be talking about. Because just like I said, there are so many uh, of the particular type, it's hard to decide which ones to really that I really want to focus on. So if a Pokemon doesn't make the list, please don't be offended. If my reasons aren't that great, I do apologize, just for personal reasons. Now let's get on to number six, Dragonair. Now if you remember my in my bug video, uh, one thing I really love about some Pokemon is just how graceful they look. And I think when it comes to Dragon types, I think nobody does it as good or even better than Dragonair. I do have a Dragonair for my just a fun little walk around team. Um, I am uh, currently planning on working on a uh, on a competitive Dragonite, and I know everyone says multi scale is a great ability, but just the fact that it loses its flare as soon as it loses any HP, I'm really hesitant on actually using multi scale. If somebody can prove me wrong or to show me why that's such a great ability. Feel free to leave it in the comments, just be respectful when you explain it to me, because I may be a competitive battler, but I'm more on the casual side. I think I'm a 55%, I think I'm about 45% uh, competitive, 55% uh, casuals, but whatever, I just love... I just love Dragonair. It's graceful. It's beautiful. I know that's not a great excuse. I think it even knows just the same moves as Dragonite. So I may use it in an NUUU team or maybe even Wardline unless it goes somewhere else. All right, number five, Garchomp. My boy, Garchomp. Okay, when this Pokemon, when yeah, when this Pokemon Evolution Chain came out in Gen Four, everyone was looking for Gibbles because it was such a rare Pokemon. Apparently, I swear, on my first walkthrough, I ran into like. Eight in the same area, and as soon as I beat the game, got a ditto. I was breeding like no, like it was nobody's business. Cause you go into the GTS, and no matter what you were looking for, people were like, "Oh, I want a Gibble so I can get Garchomp." So that's pretty much what I did. I just bred nonstop just to fill up my Pokedex and get really awesome legendaries. I thought it was funny, but even on a competitive aspect. Garchomp is just absolutely amazing. Earthquake, Dragon Claw, I think it can learn U-Turn. I mean, its coverage is ridiculous, and with its Mega Evolution, oh my goodness, that's just a whole lot of shenanigans, a whole lot of problems for any... I mean, I know it's counterable with fairies and ice types, but oh my goodness, get that one thread out of the way, and Garchomp will be busy for days, just breaking in those KOs, in my opinion. But, oh my goodness, even the design's cool. Alright, number four, Hydreigon. This one, I was a little hesitant on. I think it's more of the, uh, I guess to a certain extent, nostalgia to it. I Maybe not nostalgia. Yeah, nostalgia's a bad description, but I guess it's more of my uh, 
wanna be hardcore bad boy attitude poking out because uh because it does look like a doomish Pokemon. I think I think it's more of a design that I like about it. Uh, no, actually, I kind of like it in a competitive aspect. I think I see it more of a uh, special attacker instead of the physical attack that you get for Gar with Garchomp. But I think the only thing I don't like about it is the Muppets on it on his hands. I'm waiting for them. I'm waiting for the two Muppets on his hands to break out into song. Or maybe they can be the old guys that you see in all those Muppet shows, but... It, I mean, it's a cool competitive Pokemon. Its de design is done fairly well, minus its Muppets. Uh, it's a German name, so you can expect some crazy shenanigans. Now, heads up, I do have German in me, so I'm not hating on any Germans. I just... You know what? No, I'm ending it there. Cutting it off now. Number three, uh, Haxorus. Haxorus is... I don't think he has as good of a move pool as the other named Pokemon. I think it is more of the fact that he just looks like he's ready to beat the snot out of just anyone who who sasses him. I mean, I mean, look at him! He has axes on the side of his face! How is that not threatening? I would be flat out terrified if I was just... I, I normally don't pick fights with anybody, but if I were to not pick a fight with anyone, it would be that, because either he's going to throw out a Dragon Rage, an Earthquake, some other Oko move on my face, or he's going to bring those axes and turn me into doggy treats. But I think another thing I really like about him is he belongs to one of my favorite gym leaders, uh, Drayden. And I only like Drayden just because of how... Hardcore he looks. He he just looks like he doesn't take crap from anybody, and I think that this Pokemon complements his outward appearance absolutely perfectly. There is that is synergy right there. All right, so number two, Flygon, or as I call him, Little Mister Goggle Man. I mean, I it's more of a design that I like him. I know I like a lot of Pokemon for their design. I mean, I do have a Flygon that I'm using a lot competitively, thanks to the since I'm currently doing a do double battles in the uh, Battle Mason, and just with that Levitate and get some Earthquake, uh, pair him up with a Rotom Wash or even a Gengar, uh, you you actually can get some pretty good sh some uh, pretty good damage off right then and there. Because you can use an Earthquake to damage and Will-O-Whisper Thunder Wave to paralyze anything that may still be alive. So, I mean, it does have a pretty good move pool. Uh, I wish it did get a bit more flair, and I hope it gets a Mega Evolution, because I think it deserves it. Alright, so, that's really all I have to say, and the number one Pokemon, Salamence. Okay, let me have my fangirl moment. Oh my gosh, Mega Salamence, Mega Salamence, Mega Salamence! Oh my goodness, okay, that was confirmed today. I'm excited for Mega Salamence. If you haven't seen it, uh, go look at Shofu's video. Okay, maybe, unless you're not a Shofu fan, then just look it up online. Uh, go to Facebook or whatever. Just go to Cerebi. Yeah, screw the other recommendations. Go to Cerebi. It's been announced. Uh, I think it has a great move pool. I think it has amazing stats. I have one in my Wi Fi. I'm going to try to start using it so I can get a hold of it get a hang of it so when its Mega Evolution comes out, I can start eating up them souls, crushing some uh, opponents with Mega Salamence. I'm excited to see what its stats are, and with its new abil ability, Aerialate, return. Return Aerialate Mega Salamence. All I have to say. New meta, nothing's gonna live. I'm sorry. Alright, so that's really all I have to say on this video. Thank you for watching. I apologize if my video wasn't that great. I do just have a lot on my mind at the moment. And I really do hope to see you all in the next week or two. Uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Message me on Skype if you want. Alright, thank you, and you guys have a good day. See ya!